Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a guide to hunting alligators on Mississippi Acres. So, to start off, we're going to want to go into our storage and grab a tree stand. Because you're always going to want to have a tree stand with you when you're hunting alligators. Especially when you come to this one spot. And it seems like I already have a tree stand on me, so that's good. And now we're going to want to grab a quad and show you exactly where we're going. So we're going to be going right here. Now normally I would be doing this on my own map, but my own map is not cooperating right now. So I have to do it on multiplayer. And this is the spot that we're going to be going to. There's always a lot of alligators. I'm going to bring quad all the way there only because I'm going to scare the alligators into the water and we're going to throw a tree stand up and we're going to be able to see the alligators. Now, the best time to come, to come hunting alligators here is between 9.30 and 12, but they also rest here between uh, 12 and 16 o'clock. And as you see, it's 16.50 almost, so I'm a little bit late but the alligators will still be there, they'll be roaming around. And uh, we'll still be able to get a couple. Now, this isn't the only spot for alligators, obviously, you know, the entire map. All the, all the bodies of water here, you know, there's so much gators along here. Mainly down here, you know, right when you start at the first outpost. Up at Gator Lakes, there's a lot of gators. Uh, right, right along the river, all the way from right right all the way up through here there's a ton of gators but I personally think that this is the best spot there's always so many gators here and you're always able to get one at least when you go there now I usually just drive my quad up in here as you see there's already a resting zone right there I drive right up to about here and I put my tr tree stand on one of these trees most of the time on this tree right here. Now, if you have a dog on you, your dog most likely is going to start growling. If there's an alligator in here, which my dog is growling, and yeah, you just throw your tree stand up like that, climb in, and right there, there's already an alligator in here. Just shoot that guy real quick. It's that easy. Now most of the time, while you're sitting here, if you drive in on a quad, alligators will run right through there, all the way through, and come right into the water here. And you always have to check behind you. Back in this grassy area right here, there's always alligators swimming back and forth in here. Just like that one right there. He's alert, so we're going to take him out as well. Actually, just wait until he... Got to get a good shot on him here now. Come on, cooperate with us. Looks like I took a bad shot. but that don't matter. It's only level 6. Doesn't matter how much bullets you put in him. And he's gonna die. Now, now, usually when I come here, I scare quite a few alligators into this spot right here. And... Yeah, I think this is the best way to hunt alligators, to be honest. It's a lot easier. And there you go. He died. That's good. And... Looks like there's another gator in there. Another level six. Like you just sit in your tree stand, you look over and there's a bunch of alligators. I have no clue why I took that shot. Let's just wait until he turns around. And the best part of all, they get stuck in there. 
For some reason, they just cannot. Just put, put a couple bullets in them. And here you go. Here's another gator that just came in. As you see, he ran right from there all the way through, just like I said. It's that easy. Now we're going to pop a bullet in him real quick. There he is. Now, of course, you know, I, I find this spot really good as well for alligators. Same time, you know, between 9 and 16 o'clock, really, that you're going to see a lot of alligators there. But here, it's, it's, it's the best. I mean, same with along the, so big, the side of the river over here, on the, along the side of the map. You're going to get a lot of ga alligators there as well, but this, this spot's just so much easier. Let's check and see if there's any more alligators over here. Doesn't look like there's any in there. Okay, let's, let's get out of this tree stand and go pick up our gators. Let's see what we got. It's a level six that I shot three times. Nice gold level, level six right there. You know what? I kind of want to take a screenshot of this. My dog is still growling, so there must be another alligator in the area here. Okay, what do we got here? Nice little five medium. Now, like I said, between nine and 16 o'clock, you're gonna come across a lot of alligators in here. I also like to run up this little bit of water right here and just check for them as well. And on my map so far in this little area, it's already uh, given me Four or nine legendaries, three were diamonds, one was a troll, and I got three pie bulbs as well. So this spot, this spot is worth it, that's for sure. Now just to prove it to you, we'll go run up here and see if there's any more gators. But as you've seen, I already shot four four alligators in here already and all I had to do was throw a tree stand up in a tree and just sit there and wait now I the gun that you're gonna want to use hunting alligators if you just wanna kill them and you don't care you don't care if it's gonna be a, a silver gold or anything and you don't care about improper ammo or anything like that you could use the 300 Magnum. It packs such a punch on those alligators, they're gonna die so quickly. But I, I like to use the M1. Really the M1, the 270, that works pretty good for the gators as well. Uh, 303, 30 odd six. Any, any of those guns works perfectly for the alligators. It doesn't seem like there's ma many alligators up here right now. Okay, so yeah, it's that easy to hunt alligators. You're going to want to come here between 9 and 16 o'clock. You're going to no doubt you're going to find alligators here for sure no matter what there's going to be alligators here and I like using the M1 you can use the 30-06 303 any a any gun that has ammo between like class 4 to class 8 that's usually what all these uh, all the guns like the M1 the 303 and 30-06 that's what they use that's their class ammo 
because alligators are class 6 so you're going to want to have ammo that that can cover at least class 6 and other than that I think that's all for today everyone if you haven't already hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time